Hey guys, what's going on? Bisectatron here from Clash of Clans Manual. Uh, I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but it's only now that I'm finally getting to it. Uh, this video is my kind of reaction to uh, the new update that recently came out. Uh, it was a pretty big update, it included lots of new stuff. It was supposed to be like the big update they have, like uh, one once every three months or so. So, uh, and there were a lot of cool features in it. I wasn't so sure that there was any like huge changes. They did a lot of like little stuff in my opinion, but um, I'm not going to be judge or jury on this one. I'm going to let you guys kind of think about it through and I'll start to give my opinions towards the end. So this isn't a huge feature, but we have the new replay. So you can see what this guy who is attacking me is actually using. He's using um, a go wee wee, go wipe strategy, whatever you want to call it. It has wizards, which is uh, pekkas and golems in it. Uh, and if you just take a look, it's uh, he's doing a pretty nice attack. Um, and you can see as everything is deployed, the spells, the troops, everything, which is really cool. Um, and you can also see what th they didn't use. So you can see if they were down to that final archer when they were trying to get 50%, or whether it was pretty easy and they just ended the battle. Uh, you can see a lot that you couldn't see before, which helps you evaluate yourself on defense. And also looking at replays of yourself and other players, you can especially in war and whatnot, you can kind of start to see uh, more in-depth of what was happening. So this, this was kind of a weird attack, actually. He dropped his stuff in, like, different waves. Like, first witches, the, or first, first golems, then wizards, then pekkas, now witches. Um, so, yeah, kind of interesting attack. But he also used a couple level 7 archers. You probably never uh, saw them. They just kind of slipped in. Uh, I think they're dead now. Or I guess you can see them because the, the queen spawned some when she activated her vile cloak. So that was another new thing, the level 7 barbarians and archers, which I'll get to in a second. But I just wanted to show this replay to kind of show the cool new thing with replays, how you can see what the person had uh, to work with as if, you, you, they were the one, as if you were the one attacking. You get that troop bar at the bottom. So that will do it for this raid. I'm just going to end it here. Uh... And it was, I'm actually pretty happy. I, doing my push, it's good only getting one started. Um, anyway, let's move on. As I mentioned earlier, we have the level 7 archers coming to Clash of Clans. You can see them in this army camp. Uh, they look kind of like level 6, only they have um, kind of a headband on and a new cape if you saw the back of them. So they look pretty cool looking. And as far as the actual statistics, you can see in this chart... Uh, we have plus three damage, uh, plus four hit points. Training cost is up quite a bit, and the research time is quite a bit as well. They lowered the price for level six um, on a variety of things. And while we're on the subject of archers, we have the archer tower going to level thirteen. It looks like Supercell is trying to implement uh, this new like uh, level of uh, defenses. Like the Tesla's already gone up a level. I think the next will be the cannon trying to get those single target uh, defenses up a level so you'll have two every two unlocked once you get to Town Hall 10 which is pretty cool and of course uh, accompanying the archer at level 7 we now have the barbarian I think they look cooler than the archer they have like a golden helmet now and um, yeah I think they look pretty cool and that's going to be kind of helpful uh, for barches having higher level archers and barbarians make that a more substantial uh, army composition so they're going plus 4 damage, uh, plus 15 hit points is pretty significant. Training cost isn't too bad, and I think they, yeah, I think they did lower uh, some of the stuff for the level 6 barbarians. And that's what Supercell's been doing, they're lowering like costs for troops and defenses as they add new ones to the game. So that way you don't have to save up more than 8 million to do an upgrade or research a troop or whatnot. Alright, so Valkyrie, this is kind of a side thing that most people didn't even consider, but down to 8 minutes for the Valkyrie, and I think that's going to have some substantial impact on the game. Now that they're one of those quick troops, kind of, or moderately quick troops, uh, they'll be more useful for using in your kind of go wee wee, go wipe composition compositions you can throw a few Valks in. I've already used them a bunch in war. I've had a bunch of uh, Dark Elixir sitting around, and I'm pretty scarce on Elixir. So it's been helpful to be able to have these guys that only take 8 minutes to train you can throw into your war compositions. And the update before this made them smarter. They go in between buildings. So they become a pretty cool troop to use. So also um, walls. 
once you reach level uh, six, you can upgrade them using Elixir. So what this does for us is it basically allows us to choose if we want to use gold or elixir. Unfortunately for me, uh, I had a bunch of elixir sitting around, but right when this update came, came out, I needed all my elixir for my trophy push. So awful timing. I haven't spent elixir on one wall yet, so hopefully uh, later on I'll have some elixir sitting around and upgrade walls. Uh, heroes, this was probably the biggest thing for me. The, now the tr regeneration time is way down. So my king at level 10, it's only 48 minutes which is pretty substantial for me. Um, at level 20, it's going to be about 68 minutes. You can see the stats the level 20 king. Um, and that's big because originally the level 40 is uh, 4 hours. Now I think it's down quite a bit. This is the closest I get to level 30 because I'm trying to show a progression. Uh, so level 30 it takes about, or 34, it takes 96 minutes, which isn't too bad. And then finally, your full out level 40 king used to take four hours, now it takes under two hours. So that's a really cool feature to the game. Uh, same thing for the Archer Queen, uh, exact same for each level. And level one king's not mentioned here, or queen. The level one king or queen only takes 30 minutes, so you can basically use it for even a farming composition. You can have your heroes every time, pretty much. Uh, this is the thing everyone's been talking about, the Lava Hound. It's always big when a new troop comes out. This hasn't happened in a while. I'm going to be showing some replays first, but as you can see, this is an absolute tank. Uh, it has 5,700 hit points at level 1. Only does 10 damage per second, though. And a unique thing is it targets air defenses. It also spawns these lava pups. When it uh, gets shot down, it breaks into lava pups, kind of like the golem breaks into golemites. And let's see how effective it is in this um, some of these attacks. So these are both going to be from my war I'm currently in. Uh, today we're looking at uh, the defender being Mark from my clan. He's being attacked uh, by this guy using an air composition. And I apologize, this, the language is kind of messed up, so I was experimenting with different languages. So just disregard the language, but you can kind of see what's going on anyway. So he's using this with the balloon minion composition. He's going to drop that lava hound first, and a few things. It gets shut down actually fairly quickly. Like right now, yep, just went down. So it didn't even last that long, plus that multi-targeted Inferno, it's not like it's taking any of like the damage away from everything else, because the Inferno still has four other like, uh, four other uh, targets it can potentially target, so it's not really distracting the Inferno much. And this guy kind of used a weird thing where he had two waves of troops, which I always think is pretty stupid, because it's just letting the defenses take time in between to... Uh, it's basically ineffective. Let me just put it that way. You're going to want to use all your troops at once, typically, not waves. So he drops a second Lava Hound. And a couple bad things about the Lava Hound. Um, a, what it does is it runs to the air defense. So if it takes out one air defense, it might run like all the way to another part of the base and get shot down by things that wouldn't be targeting balloons or whatever minions anyway. So it's kind of a waste if it goes away from the rest of your troops. Uh, also, it doesn't do like any damage. It basi basically just don't have it do any damage. It it does ten per second, which is nothing. So it's not gonna be able to take out an air defense, even if you use like three of them. They still can't take out an air defense. Uh, so raid spells don't work on them that much, and I guess heal spells, you know, what you may, it helps somewhat. But I'm not a huge fan of the Lava Hound, uh, and it didn't do that good. This guy has you know my level stuff even level 2 Lava Hounds, but he only got one star on a pretty weak Town Hall 10. So let's look at another defense by my clan. Uh, this war we're in, they're using like almost all air troops, either dragons or balloons and minions or whatever. Uh, this guy's using some drags and some Lava Hounds. And as you can see, uh, looks like he's going to drop his heroes first to take out the clan castle in those beginning buildings, which I always thought was kind of stupid because your heroes, uh, they can do a lot if they're mixed in with the rest of your troops or is used as follow-up, it's kind of a waste just to let them get killed uh, right you know, right at the beginning of the battle, just to take out a clan castle. Uh, so that was kind of a bit of a mistake by him. He has eight dragons and two lava hounds. I thought it would be kind of stupid to use dragons and lava hounds before the update came out. Let's see if I was right. Um, I think it is good what he's doing by dropping the dragons first, then maybe the lava hounds in like a few seconds, uh, just so the dragons are... Uh, get a head start in Lava Hounds so the Lava Hounds don't run out in front. 
But this guy's waiting a long time to drop his Lava Hounds. I think that's going to work against him, because by the time they get out there, they're not really protecting a whole lot. There's only going to be a few dragons left. So it's kind of a weird thing that he's doing. Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what's up. But he still has this... Oh, he dropped the Lava Hound now, it looks like. And he'll drop that second one in the top right. So they're both working on those interior air defenses. And like I said, uh, as you can see, they're not nowhere near the actual dragons. So they're not really protecting the dragons at all. Because those buildings wouldn't be shooting at the dragons anyway. I think they're kind of a waste unless you're really strategic with how you use them. Uh, but for the average player, they're definitely not helpful. And even if you're a very skilled Lava Hound user, I can't guarantee that they're going to help that much. You might be better off bringing a dragon and two balloons instead of a lava hound in your air compositions. So that will wrap up this battle uh, for our defender Ryan. So two one stars uh, for these lava hound users. And that will do it for my lava hound segment in this video. So now I'll kind of put on my opinion hat and kind of tell you guys what I think. Um, the replay function, uh, the replay update, I think is really cool. How you can see what people are using, it lets you kind of be able to see how your defense is doing more accurately, and kind of see what people are doing more specifically in their attacks. I think the level seven barbarians and archers is pretty good. It's not going to affect people trophy pushing that much because it's um, unless you're using barge, uh, but it's also great for farming. And I think it's nice having level seven troops, uh, and they have kind of cool designs too. I have to admit. Uh, also though, with the level 7 archers and barbarians came that new level of the archer tower. I think it's important to keep the defenses uh, on par with the... I think defenses have to be more uh, powerful, it's too easy to attack at the top level. So I think it's good they're starting to have higher level defenses. Regeneration time is still proportional for the king and queen, even though I'm not showing the queen. It's the same uh, for level 10 queen and king, uh, but it's been reduced significantly, which makes it easier to have your heroes uh, almost every time you attack, which is nice. Uh, Valkyrie, I see I've already upgraded my level 2. I'll do it to level 3 soon, because the Valkyrie now, less training time from 15 minutes to 8 minutes, uh, plus it's smarter on the batter, battlefield from the last update. It's going to make it pretty cool to use in battle. And, of course, the wall update was the first thing that was kind of released. Uh, you can now, well, you can upgrade walls by row if you want. But more importantly, you can use Elixir to also upgrade your walls once they reach level 6. So it lets you kind of choose what you want to use uh, so it balances out gold and Elixir more. Um, the Lava Hound was probably the biggest thing. Unfortunately, I don't really like it. I think it do saw in some of the replays. Not very useful. Uh, I think Supercell wanted to kind of build off the Golem they added, which was such a great update that they added the Golem. But... The Lava Hound didn't hit at home like the Golem did, and I think they should kind of stay away from the air troops for now and try to focus on some more interesting ground troops and maybe some cool things. Uh, so do you guys think you have great ideas? If you do, comment them, and I will make a new video. I've already made one video on ideas for Clash of Clans, including a Witch Tower, a uh, Dark Spell Factory, and a, um, a player tournament to determine the best player in the world, which would also be really cool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just what I think about the update. As I said, comment any new ideas or what you thought of the update. Uh, and I'll be posting some more videos soon. Be sure to check out my Town Hall 9 Quest of Champ, which is going on right now. I'll be posting some more videos very soon, so stay tuned. Uh, as always, like and subscribe for more videos. But until then, I'm going to sign off by Sectatron out.